Welcome back. Now, uh, our next guest is 35. Her husband is 58, and he was once one of the most feared men in Britain. The Cray twins ruled the London underworld, of course, in the 60s through a reign of terror and extortion. So why did she marry Ronnie Cray? Kate Cray, very good morning to you. Before anything else, would you like to say good morning to your husband? Because I know he's watching us uh, from Broadmoor. Do you say hello? Hi, yeah. Uh. Actually, you see him every couple of weeks, every twice a week, rather, don't you? Yeah. 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 All right, let's, let's start at the beginning. I mean, you obviously must have heard about the Crays. You and I are of the same age, actually, so we both sort of read about them in the 60s. Mm. How did you end up marrying one of them? Well, I met Reggie first. I was, I, was, I, was, I was stuck in London, and I just saw a picture of him in a book, and I just wrote to Reggie first. So Why? Why did you write to him? I don't know. I didn't even read the book. I just wrote to him. I just wondered if he had his own teeth, if I'm honest with <laughs> you. Why? <laughs> was there something about the photographs? No, I was just no. a bit Curious. nosy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was just a bit nosy, I suppose. So I, I just wrote to Reggie and asked him that. He just probably thought it was funny. But they get about, I don't know, 50 letters a day each. Mm -hmm. So that it's not unusual for people just to write to him. Yeah. Friendly letters. Some friendly, yeah. some a bit cranky, but mainly they're just like from people that want to know about them or mm. just want a book from them or something yeah. unsigned or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so you went and met him. How do, how do we chat? Mm -hmm. what I went to see Reggie first and I was seeing Reggie for about a year before I went down to see Ron because I was wary of Broadmoor and you know, yes. went with it really. And in the end I did go because there was a postal strike and um, then I met him. Okay, what happened? It was just... I don't know, it's just like meeting you, really. He's just a normal Jeez. man. <laughs> well, you should be complimented. He's just a normal man. Yeah. He's just a really nice, normal chap. Mm. And he just looked like my bank manager. Yeah, right. So, so he's a nice, normal chap. Are we talking about Ronnie here or Reggie? Ronnie. 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 That's right, yeah. why I call it Married Getting to the Craze, because yeah. people always... Absolutely. We get... Yeah, mm. I know you married Ronnie, but I lost track of when you were actually changed over from seeing Reggie to Ronnie. You, you thought he was a nice, normal man. There's, there's a big difference between thinking that and thinking you're in love with someone, you want to marry them. And presumably you did fall in love with him. It wasn't in any sense a, a marriage of convenience, because to be frank, what's in it for you? Well, it's not, it's not an easy life. People, it's, it's been said that I married him for money or his name or whatever, but yeah. at the end of the day, if I wanted to marry someone for money, I could have married someone outside and it would have been a much easier life. This is not an easy option. Mm. So what's in it for me? I do love him, mm. um, but there's lots of things that go with it. It's, it wasn't just a, a thing I thought, I got up one day and thought, oh, I'm going to marry this man. Mm. It was just the, when I married him, it was just the next ordinary step well, in a you're relationship. Not, you're not the first person to have married somebody who's doing a long stretch inside. It's, mm. it's, it's not unknown, although it's very unusual. Can I ask you a personal question? Have you consummated the marriage? Have you been able to? <laughs> of course. <laughs> they always <laughs> ask me that question. They always ask me that question. Uh, no. No. Because you're not allowed to, basically. You're not. Are you allowed alone? You're allowed to sort of spend some time. Well, no, alone? I'm not alone. I mean, there's always lots of people around. A I mean, difficult. We, you know, in the yeah, <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> it's too much of a gentleman. Now, yeah. sometimes we go in the garden things, and there's not so many people around then. But other than that, no. no. And your and your actual your actual wedding. Mm. Um, now you married you married Ronnie inside. Um, in Broadmoor, in yeah. Broadmoor, and you had a wedding reception afterwards, which he obviously couldn't come to. Mm -hmm. That must have been awful. Well, no, not really, because I mean, people think it's a strange marriage, but it's just normal to me. One's just, it's just a normal thing, unless you know something different. It's not. So we had a little reception in Broadmoor, yeah. and then we went out. How long have you been married now? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years, and you see him, as we said earlier, twice a week. Sometimes more, if I Sometimes like. Sometimes more. And you, you live in Kent, so you, so you, you drive yeah. down to Broadmoor, yeah. do you? What do you talk about when, when you meet? Because his life's very sort of similar, isn't it, day to day? Well, with Ronnie, there's, there's always things to do, people to see, there's always letters to answer, and so there's lots. Yeah. You talk about the past. You talk about what no, happened. No, I'm not in the interested 60s. in all that. I'd be, I'd be a fool to try and co even comment on all what happened before. Uh, there is a, a Ronnie craze of the 70s, 80s, and the 90s. There's not just a Ronnie Cray of the 60s. Yeah. When do you, when do you hope? He's got, he's served 24 years now, has yeah. he? You must be hoping, if, you, if you're in love with him, you must be hoping that there will come a period in both your lives when you can be together properly. Mm -hmm. As man and wife, you're 33. Are you also hoping 35. for children? 35. 35. <laughs> I keep on calling you 33. <laughs> Children. You look young. Are you hoping for children? No. No. no you I can't have children, but I wouldn't want any anyway. I mean, I would have had children by now if I'd mm. wanted any. So no. Mm. I mean, and at the end of the day, Ron's got a lot of catching up to do, hasn't he? Yeah. Yes. So he's not going to be one of the down with kids and things. I know you're, you're a very realistic woman, so you won't mind me asking this question, because some people will be thinking it. I mean, have you married him and written the book? Because you got this book mm. up, yeah. you said Married to the Craze, basically 
to, to make some money, to make a living? No, I make a living anyway. Ron doesn't support me, I support myself. I pay my own mortgage. I'm just a normal working girl, down to earth, and I've got my mortgage to pay, my bills to pay, just the same as everyone else. I was approached and asked if I'd write the book. Yeah. And I thought, uh, first of all, I mean, Ron pulled my leg and said, yeah, what are you going to say? And I thought about it, and I, there's nothing I can really say. Only how I see Ron, and all these people, other people that write books on Reg and Ron, they... They, they knew him like 25 years ago. Mm. But it's like saying that people say, will he be a gangster when he comes out? But it's oh, like saying that Terry Wogan was a hippie in the 60s and he's going to be a hippie in the 90s. I don't think it's quite like <laughs> saying that. <laughs> but it is really. You fair. mature. You mature and you go on to different but things. But he was fairly mature when he went, when he went to prison, surely. Mm. Yeah. I mean, are you convinced that he would be a completely different person? He's not well either, is he, to be honest? Well, he's not, not well. I mean, he's, all his illnesses are controlled by his drugs. Yeah. So, he's got schizophrenia, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah, he's a yeah. paranoid schizophrenic. But yeah. he's always had that since he was 22. Yeah. But well, you you, just, just to sorry, finish, sorry, you're yes. convinced that if, if you ever do manage to lead a normal life together, mm. that you, you, you won't regret it. You won't discover things about him when you're living with him that you're not aware of while he's so far away from you. Yeah, but I, I have more chance to talk to my husband than most people do outside. That's the only thing we can do is talk. Mm. So I sit for hours talking to Ron. Yeah. I'm not saying that I know him inside out because I'd be a fool to say I don't. But at the end of the day, I do get to talk to him. And with me writing my book, at least I can give over a different side of him. Yeah. All these other people seem to think they can say and um, what Ron's like and they don't even go to see him. Does he think that he should be let out now? Does he think that he's done, his, he's, he's done as much time as he's request, re required to do? Well no, Ron never complains about his time, he just he just does it and he doesn't, you know, he doesn't wit Ron about that, he's got his life you know, with me and inside Broadmoor so no, he doesn't complain about it but at the end of the day, why shouldn't he be let out? Because there's, he's, in the length of time that he's been in prison, he's seen like rapists and child murderers come in and go out and they They've all done far less time than, than Reg and Ron. Have you, have you ever met Barbara Windsor? Because she... That's an odd question. No, it's not, it's not because she had a... She, her husband um, was, uh, were, was also... No, she's been to see Reg a few yes, times. Yes, I know she has. Mm. She, she, she knows... And she has a very similar attitude mm. to, to, towards her ex-husband as you have mm. towards your present husband, yeah. which is that basically, as long as he's good to me... And as no, 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 I'll stop you there because not no. good to me. Ron's not just good to me. Ron would never hurt a woman. He'd never hurt children. And Ron wouldn't hurt anybody that was straight. No. He didn't even then. What he he did was business and people in his business knew what Ron was like and they the was exactly the same. Game. That's yeah. right. Ron just didn't walk out and shoot a postman mm. and I would, you know, I can't stick up for what he did but he was ruthless in his business. Well, just one more question on the back of that really. Is the reason do you think deep down that mm. you've married him mm. and you talk about him like this because yeah. you're attracted to that, that glamorous, dangerous side of him? No, him. there's no? lots of gangsters outside that are just as glamorous. There and, were lots of people who fancied the phrase in the 60s because yeah, they had this vain reputation. There still is now. But no, there's lots of people outside that I could probably fall for just as much as Ron. But mm. no, not at all. She okay. like Barbara Windsor, didn't she? Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely to meet you, Kate. Thank, Thank you very much. And good luck in your life in the future. And I'll be like your book. Oh, yes. You? Your book, Marriage the Craze. Right. Yeah. Get your plug in there. We're going to take a break Thanks. now. Back in about two minutes. See you then. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please join our Facebook group. It's called Craze Crime Lords of London. We're a friendly moderated group with over 1,000 Cray and other celebrated gangster videos available for view. There's also thousands of images in the photos sections. The link for the group is in the YouTube description section. I hope we see you there soon.